Hey guys, 2024 is the perfect time to jump in with the field which is exploding with possibilities and growing exponentially. I'm going to take help from ChatGPT and Google's Bard to create this in-depth AI roadmap so you can do the same. But where do you begin? Don't worry, I have got your back with a step-by-step -step roadmap to unlock your AI journey. Starting from learning Python coding to building AI applications using deep learning, using computer vision or even using large language model to build AI assistants just like ChatGPT and Google's Gemini. So today I'll be talking about if I have to start over from really basics, how do I get started? What are the step-by-step -step approach and how much time I will need to master this field? I'm going to provide you all the details that you need to know to learn AI in 2024 with all the learning material and their links. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI, this side Asif Imnad. One of the most controversial question that I usually get, will AI take our jobs? I think yes, eventually in coming years, but the last job that AI will take over is the one who is building AI or for that matter, someone who is using AI to do the smart work. So if you're watching this video, you are on the right path. So the image and the pyramid that you see on the screen shows you the complete roadmap. So we have to climb this pyramid starting from foundations to data science, to machine learning, to deep learning till generative AI. So let's understand how do I climb this pyramid and become expert in AI. And to start this journey, first thing you need to have strong foundations. Think of AI as a building. Before you can build skyscrapers, you need to have strong foundations. That means mastering the basics of Python programming and mathematics, which stands at the bottom of this pyramid. I'm not saying you need to be complete expert in Python programming, just the basics of Python to know how to write the code and what is the syntax to write basic code. Do some hands-on to write basic code which uses data types, list, tuple, dictionaries, functions, loops and obviously object-oriented programming etc etc. I'm gonna take help of ChatGPT and Google Bard to get the list of Python tutorials to learn AI with the links. Let me go to the browser. Let's ask ChatGPT and Bard to get the links. I'm gonna put a prompt saying that provide me Python basics to learn AI with tutorial links. Okay, ChatGPT is responding. Let's see what it says. Python is a great language for AI due to its simplicity, so on and so. And I get the list of topics that I need to learn to get expertise in AI. So it says introduction to Python is required, variables and data types, control structures. But I see these are not clickable. Try for yourself. Let me ask Bard. Let me take help from Bard for the same question because I have seen Google Gemini is embedded into Bard. I prefer Bard nowadays. All right, so this is the response that I'm getting with a Google Bard. It gave me some of the links for online courses, Future Learn, Data Camps, Coursera's Python for Everybody Specialization. Let's see this course on the Coursera. And I really believe courses from Coursera are amazing and most of them are free. So you can enroll for this just by simply looking at the name and the details that they have provided. Learn to program and analyze data with Python. Develop programs to gather, clean, analyze and visualize data. This is what this course provides. Let's see what are the responses that I have. I also see one of the course from Udemy. Let me check this out. Okay, so this is a complete Python bootcamp from hero to zero for Python. All right. Other than these links, I would tell you what would I have preferred. I would prefer W3 schools to learn Python basics because W3C schools will provide you everything in detail starting from the scratch. You can try it yourself. So Python home, Python introduction, getting started, syntax, variables, data types. So these are really basics of Python, right? So we need to build our foundation. After Python, to build foundations, you need to learn mathematics. No, no, you don't need to write any equations, but machine learning uses this math concepts, which will help you understand how machine learning algorithm works and how you can improve model accuracy over the time. So to prepare for interviews and to get that extra age and to understand how ML algorithm works, you need to learn some basics of maths. 
In math, mainly we require statistical, analytical skills, linear algebra, probability, calculus, etc., etc. Mainly statistics, probability, and linear algebra is required to build the foundation for AI. Now I can ask the same questions to these AI assistants to get the link for math. One of the course that I have found is from MIT. So let me open this link. This is really specific statistics for applications and a short and free course that you can go through. Other than that, I have two more courses. If you want, you can go through these. One is from the Coursera. This is a special course, Mathematics for Machine Learning Specialization. You can enroll for free and start learning this. And finally, I also have one of the free YouTube link, which I have found really helpful while I was doing some research around. This is the playlist on YouTube, which will help you learn math starting from chapter one. So go through this playlist. Don't worry. I'm going to provide you all these links in the description below. So have a look at it. After foundations, the second thing that you need to learn is the data science. And it's a important step. As shown in the image, AI is a domain and machine learning is a subset of AI and deep learning is subset of machine learning. And the recent field of study on which ChatGPT and Gemini is built, which falls under generative AI, is a subset of deep learning. And if you see, data science intersects with all these fields. Again, data science is a vast field, but you don't need to learn everything. We need to learn only the specific topics which are important for us to learn AI. So let me talk about quickly what are the basic data science concepts and the libraries that you need to learn. So data science is basically to help you get insights from the data. Understand the data. Unless and until you don't understand the data, it will be difficult for you to create a model on top of it, right? First, we need to understand the domain, understand the data. For that, we will be using some of the Python libraries again. So this is not something new that you will be learning. This is on top of the foundation which you have already learned in the basics of Python. Because again, you are just using Python libraries. So you just need to know which libraries and how to use them. That is it. Let's say, for example, NumPy. NumPy is a Python library which is used for statistics and mathematics. As I said, stats and math is required for AI and machine learning. Pandas is just like SQL, which is used to work on tabular data, popularly known as data frame, to query specific rows and columns. I need specific features. Which features do you want to work on the data? We need pandas. Matplotlib is really amazing library, which will help you plot the graphs and visualize the data. Seaborn is just the advanced version of Matplotlib, which will help you provide more advanced interactive graphs to get more insights and take the decision. Now let's again ask Bard, Provide me free tutorials with the link to learn data science for AI. So here I have got some interesting responses. Bard is suggesting us to learn from Kaggle, Google AI platform, Coursera specialization, some free online courses from Harvard, from IBM, also from Microsoft, right? But my favorite one is IBM's and Harvard's. So let's click on this which is available on the Coursera. Also the course on edX, which is again free. These two courses you can prefer to learn data science in detail. You can find these links again in the description below. Okay, before we proceed and discuss in detail, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss our latest videos on AI. We see you are watching our videos, but 90% are not yet subscribed. We put a lot of efforts creating these videos for you free. Keep us motivated by liking and subscribing. So YouTube algorithm will also help us reach more audience. So did you subscribe and like? Thank you. Third thing you need to master is machine learning. And I would say this is heart of AI. This is the main topic that you need to master to learn AI. You can definitely skip some topics in data science, but not in machine learning. In data science, again, basics are required for Python. Basics are required. Math only basics are required. It's not that everything you need to learn. It is just whatever topics which are required to master AI. Focus only on those topics. But for machine learning, we need to have in-depth knowledge. In machine learning, you will learn how to build your own model to predict the future. We provide the past data. Based on the past data, it will predict the future. Don't get overwhelmed by all the jargons here. Take it slowly and one step at a time. Here, you will mainly learn which algorithm to use for given data and improve accuracy of the model over the time. Machine learning involves three types of algorithms, supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. I have every concept and algorithm explained in detail with the examples. A special playlist made just for machine learning is already been created. 
and available for you free. So to learn machine learning step by step, I recommend watching our machine learning playlist. Don't skip any videos. Watch this video starting from the first video in this series. I'll keep the link of this machine learning playlist in the description and also you can find it in the i button above. After machine learning, the fourth step that comes into picture is deep diving and learn deep learning. Deep learning is essentially like building a brain in your computer. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that uses artificial neural networks to learn from the data in a way that mimics the human brain. In short, deep learning is inspired from human brain and it exactly mimics the way neuron works in our brain and the only difference is it is artificial neural network that will be used in deep learning. If you ask me what are the applications of deep learning, it is actually used in various fields including computer vision, image and audio recognition, natural language processing as known as NLP, under which you will see language translation, sentiment analysis and then comes the speech recognition also in the healthcare industry to diagnostics and drug discovery in gaming, finance and can be used in any field that you see around. And some of the important deep learning architectures or the topics that you need to learn is especially convolution neural network which is again a neural network built for image related tasks. Then we have something called recurrent neural network for predicting sequence of data which actually falls under natural language processing. By learning recurrent neural network you can create text based AI assistant just like Google Bard or ChatGPT. Definitely, you also need to learn more advanced models like transformers and not to forget GAN, G -A -N, Generative Adversal Network and LLM which is Large Language Model. Again, to build text-based applications such as ChatGPT and Google Gemini which is nothing but Google's Bard. Let's ask Google Bard again. Provide me tutorials with link to learn deep learning. A simple question. I have got some interesting responses. Deep learning fundamentals from Stanford University. Deep learning with fast AI. Deep learning frameworks from TensorFlow, PyTorch. There are multiple responses that I have, but I would prefer the first course from Stanford. And also I'm gonna show you a course from Coursera and the MIT. Let me copy and paste these links because these are the ones which I would prefer. First one is this stanford.edu. This is again a free course which you can learn yourself. and also the course from Coursera and it is a specialization course for deep learning and for deep learning we also have a course from MIT let me show you how it looks uh, don't worry I'm gonna provide these links in the description so find these links in the description again so after deep learning lastly you choose or not if you want to build AI tools like ChatGPT or Google's Gemini which is barred now or even be a part of cutting edge tech driven companies like Google OpenAI and Microsoft then you need to have knowledge of general artificial intelligence in order to master this field. Gen AI or AGI or artificial general intelligence is bit different and has ability to generate surprising responses because you know AGI can create new data. We don't need to provide the data. AGI creates its own data with the existing data. It is one short learning. Understand this. This is same like humans. We learn from the experiences and we apply it in new situations. So AGI does the same. Learn from the experience and apply in new situations, which is also called cross learning. It has cognitive abilities, same like humans, critical thinking. And you know what the most surprising characteristics of AGI is self-awareness. Yes, AGI might exhibit self-awareness or in other words, you might call it as consciousness just like humans so that it can acknowledge its own existence. If this really excites you, then you need to learn specialized studies like transfer learning, large language model, meta learning, reinforcement learning and also philosophical aspects of AI such as ethics, consciousness, security and the implications of AGI on society and humanity beautiful and this is the reason why I am so excited about AI but again how do I learn let me provide you some of the links I'm gonna ask the same question to Google Bard provide me tutorials with the link to learn generative AI all right so here are some of the responses that I got from W3C schools but I would prefer the course from the Stanford this one and also fast AI is a nice website for you know to learn in intuitive way they have really simple explanations available here but as always i'm gonna provide you some of my favorite courses if you want to learn generative ai again this one is available on the coursera and this is the same course which i suggested during deep learning this deep learning specialization course also includes generative ai 
other than that as i said stanford's course for generative ai this one is basically built on convolution neural network for visual recognition so this is the course for someone those who want to master their skills in image and visual recognition i have some more links around generative ai i'm going to keep all these links in the description you can find that out you know ai remains a grand challenge in ai and its achievement requires collective efforts from researchers from scientists and enthusiasts across multiple disciplines it's an ambitious goals that requires perseverance creativity and also a deep understanding of diverse fields beyond traditional ai so you need to be really dedicated to learn general artificial intelligence and finally during this road map don't forget to create your project portfolio on github repository of your work so that you can showcase your work to keep practicing kaggle.com is the one site which will help you in the journey to get data sets to get the new problem statements in ai and also participate in the competitions and trust me if you follow this path after 3 months or after 6 months depending on the daily time you spent on learning you will be a master in this field don't get overwhelmed i'm telling you again and again do one step at a time build the foundations then go for basic data science then go for machine learning then deep learning and finally generative ai don't get confused and switch between the topics all right and the last video that i have created is on google's gemini and i was really surprised by the way google's ai which is gemini is giving us the responses i have done some practicals some hands on some examples on google gemini so find that video here and that's how we come to an end of this video if you have any questions regarding the same let us know in the comment below if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and the colleagues thanks for watching see you again next time till then take care and bye bye